Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a tune-up on a 2015 Chevy Cruze. And most importantly, we're going to be trying to get rid of these two error codes. All right, the first one is P0300. It is a random misfire detected. The second one is P0324, not control system error. Most likely what I think that is, it is these things right here. All right, so I bought a new set of spark plugs. I bought a new thing of oil, an oil filter, and a new coil pack. Also, the tools required to do the job. All right, so with this error, what happens is I turn on the car, no check engine, no nothing on the dash, and then I drive. I drive for about a mile or two, and then the car starts losing power. It pretty much stays anywhere between 30 and 40 miles an hour. And when I accelerate the RPM, it revs up really high, about five and six. And then the speed does not pick up. So it is definitely misfiring. So today we're going to change the oil, change the spark plugs and the coil pack. Also, we're going to change the oil filter and hopefully that will fix this problem right here. But before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and if you got these codes before let me know how you fix them in case this does not work all right first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift the car up drain the oil and then we're going to go from there all right so after you have done your full oil change i made that a separate video i just didn't want this video to be 30 minutes long so i changed the oil already and when we are replacing spark plugs and the coils first step is obviously to remove the cover and once you remove the cover there will be two bolts right there i will have the link to all of the stuff that i have used in this video today in the description box below with all the specs and everything once you remove the cover you're going to take a flat head and you're going to move this yellow button all the way out. you see how it was pushed out right now before it's like that so you put a screwdriver right there and you pop it out this way you are able to disconnect the coil pack from the coil pack so then all you do is wiggle it off right here you can also put the screwdriver right here to to disconnect it all right just about there it's weird doing it with one hand <laughs> All right, let me disconnect it real quick and I'll continue the video. All right, now that you have disconnected this, it simply just slides off. You can use a wrench or an impact and simply unscrew these bolts. I have already unscrewed them, loosened them up a little bit. And bam. All right, now we're going to remove the two big bolts. There you go. And bam, now our next step is to remove the coil pack and the way to remove the coil pack is very simple once these two bolts are out you can simply pop the coil pack out if it's hot you may use gloves if not then just take some force wiggle it out and it should be able to come out the easiest way to take this out i simply put my flathead screwdriver in between right here and i lifted it up and bam it is out There we go. All right. Now the coil pack is out. Kaboom. It still does look good though. We're gonna check all the ports inside and there's the new one. Here's the old one. All right, this old coil pack still looks good. I do not think that was the problem, but since I bought a new one, I will be replacing it and now you will have full access to all four spark plugs, which is absolutely easy to access. All right, as you can see, all the spark plugs look good. There's no oil buildup. There's nothing on them right now, which is a good sign. Now we're going to use our 5 8 wrench. This around here, I'll have a link for it in the description box below. And we're going to take out the spark plugs. These wrenches are specifically made to take out spark plugs because they just slide in there and you'll be able to take them out super easy. And now 
we're going to use a wrench and we're going to take out all four spark plugs all right we have taken out one spark plug check it out it is a little bit dirty and now i have loosened up all the other ones and now we'll be able to take them out all right once you loosen them up you'll be able to use your hand to unscrew them and then with this tool it has a magnet which makes it extremely easy to use once it's all the way unscrewed you'll simply be able to pull out the tool and the spark plug would be pulled out as well let me see if i can zoom in check it out come on yeah there you go now we're going to remove all the spark plugs and put in new one all right now we have all four spark plugs removed as you can see it is completely empty make sure to keep this area very clean you do not want any rocks or anything going inside of those areas that is very important also if you think it's a little bit dirty feel free to do a little swivel and, and clean everything out all right now we're going to open the brand new spark plugs these are champions i got these online i'll have the link for them in the description box below so now we're going to open them we're going to use this lube we're going to lube them up and we're going to put them back in there all right so after you take them out you have to measure your spark plugs and that is where this tool comes in handy for a 2015 chevy cruise you're supposed to have a gap of point 028 so pretty much between the first two ones for this vehicle and if you take your spark plugs you'll be able to check it all right so you just put it in between and you roll this until it stops and bam i don't know if you can see it it stops about 0.028 so make sure your new spark plugs has the exact same measurement. If the gap between these two points is very wide, make sure to fix the gap. And then you can use this little tool to measure your gap. But make sure to get as close as possible. This is very, very important if you do not want your car to misfire or have any future problems. So all your spark plugs, make sure they have the exact same gap for a 2015 Chevy Cruze is 0 0.028. All right, now I have taken out all of them out of the packages and I have made sure that they are the exact same measurements. So now we're going to put these bad boys back in there. And it's a very simple process. All you gotta do is put them inside the tool, drop them back in there and tighten them. Very, very easy. All right, so before you put them in, make sure to use this to lube up the threads this way they do not stick they do not seize up and next time when you change your spark plugs they will be easy to get out so make sure you put some of this on the threads it is very important you do not have to add a lot just enough for it to go around and that is it and now you're simply going to put them in there and we're going to use our trusted tool to screw them in all right once you feel it becoming firm do not over tighten your spark plug simply do a little turn like that about 25 percent and it is done now you move on to the next spark plugs as you can see it is perfectly in place right there do not over tighten them simply tighten them until you feel the firmness and then do a 25 percent turn and that should be plenty now i will install the other three spark plugs and we're going to continue the video right now all four spark plugs are in their right place now it's time to install the new coil pack and kaboom check it out brand new all right with the new coil pack make sure it is clean all the way inside make sure there's no rocks or debris or anything clogging up these holes also you can put some uh 
lube in there as well. And now all you do is simply pop them in and they are in here. Bam. And now you take your two long bolts and you pop them in here. All right. Now we turn on it. Bam. And now we do it just. And bam. And now it is firmly in place. And next step, of course, is to plug in this plug right here, which just slides on. And you push this orange button back in. All right, now that the orange button is pushed in, all you have to do is put the cover back on and you should be ready to go. Also, if you disconnected the battery, make sure to reconnecting now. Everything is good. Make sure all your places are sealed. We're going to remove all these tools and we're going to start the car up. All right, now the engine is started. Everything sounds good. The check engine light is gone and I think the problem is fixed. Now we're going to go and take it for a spin to make sure everything is running good. All right, as you can see, there's no more check engine light on the car, which is awesome. So that little tune up took out the engine light and now everything is in good working condition. Also guys, if you wanna save some money on your car insurance, make sure you check out the link in the description box below. I use them to insure all three of my vehicles, Chevy, Lotus, and my Focus, and they are giving me awesome coverage, and best of all, I get an awesome price. So if you wanna save some money on your car insurance, check out the link in the description box below. Also in the description box below, I'll have a link to all the tools and all the parts that I have used in today's video. So if you wanna do this simple and easy job yourself, make sure you check out the links in the description and make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.